Charlie viewers, I am DS, your psychologist, and welcome to another episode on Channel Needs. So it has been a while since we did an ENTJ episode, so we're gonna do one today. And the topic that we want to talk about in this episode is what attributes would an ENTJ be most attracted to in an individual? So if you are interested to get the attention of an ENTJ, probably this episode is gonna help you. So for this episode, I have shortlisted six attributes or qualities that an ENTJ would probably like his or her future partner or mate to possess. Of course, there is a disclaimer. This list is not exhaustive. And also, this list does not pertain only to romantic relationships. So if you possess four or more of the qualities mentioned in this list, then it is very likely that an ENTJ will be very intrigued by you curious to know more about you and the ENTJ will not mind having you hang around him or her. Okay, without further ado, let's go straight to the list. The first quality that an ENTJ would be definitely looking for in a partner is intelligence. So when I mean intelligence, I am not only referring to how smart you are, but also to whether you are able to start a meaningful conversation and to sustain it. So some people may know so little about things that they can't even strike a conversation with the ENTJ, then this person is unlikely to intrigue the ENTJ. So a second characteristic that is very similar to being intelligent is you need to have an opinion. So from the ENTJ's point of view, even if your views or ideas do not align with that of the ENTJ, it is better than not having an opinion at all. So what do I mean by not having an opinion? So for very trivial things such as, where should we go for dinner? If you do not have an opinion, that actually is okay. When I mean not having an opinion, it means you have not thought about life to a certain degree. So a person who does not have an opinion can talk about something, but they talk about something as if they are just borrowing it from another person's perspective. So for example, let's say I have no opinion about religion. And so I talk about religion in a way that, okay, I have been brought up like that. My mother told me so, my dad told me so. Oh, come on, you should always do good things because everybody says so. So in that regard, you have no opinion. You have not thought about the concept at all. So you can strike a conversation and talk a lot about what you know, no problem. But if the ENTJ smells that you are not really processing the information that you are talking about, then it is also a no-go. A third attribute that an ENTJ is likely to like in a potential partner or potential friend is that this person is grounded. Because the ENTJ is focused on logic and practicality, so definitely, if you are a logical and practical person and being very realistic about life, then the ENTJ is likely going to relate to you better. So of course, you can have very big dreams, you can be very ambitious, but if the ENTJ smells that you are not going to follow through or you're just talking big without having concrete plans on how to achieve all these plans, then again, <laughs> you know what I mean. A fourth characteristic that an ENTJ probably likes in a potential partner or potential friend is that this person is going to be fun. So when it's time to let your hair down, then let your hair down. Boring people really bore the hell out of an ENTJ. At times, being spontaneous and random can be really fun, but of course, not too much of it. A fifth trait that an ENTJ would appreciate is that you are positive. So what do I mean by positive? So you are generally happy, optimistic, like the ENTJ himself or herself. So driven is a positive trait. And of course, being a good spot is a positive trait. So if you have made a mistake, then admit your mistake. The ENTJ will respect you for that because all these are positive traits. So generally, be your own hero. Let the ENTJ idolize you. A sixth 
and last trait that an ENTJ would like in a potential partner and in this case I am going to stress that this is a trait that an ENTJ would probably like in a potential partner instead of for a friend and that would have been vulnerability so the ENTJ really appreciates that you have some form of a weakness and this weakness the ENTJ would definitely find cute so you could have been an alpha male or an alpha female no problem when the ENTJ is with you and you show some form of a weakness and vulnerability then the ENTJ could really appreciate this so this may be quite personal I really like a very strong partner yet I would like this partner to be affectionate I like some form of a weakness in a potential partner because here I know that there is some room for me to help the potential partner in so if the potential partner is so perfect then I will feel that there is nothing that I can help in the growth of this person in a relationship I see that you should grow together and help each other become stronger individuals of course I did not state in the list a very important characteristic that I also find very important in people that is being genuine so I would say that this is a requisite in building any form of friendships to be genuine and real and true so this is why being genuine is not in the list at all Okay viewers, if you are watching this episode because you want to know whether an ENTJ might be interested in you, I hope that this video has helped you gain some insight into what an ENTJ really likes. So fellow ENTJs, if you are watching this video, do you agree with my list or do you have other things that you also find important in a potential partner or mate or even friend? <laughs> Did I say friend? <laughs> do we have friends? Okay, if you have enjoyed this video, do give us a like and do comment. And if you have not subscribed, do consider subscribing so that we can bring you more MBTI, ENTJ and Psychology. Okay, I am going to sign off now and I'll see you in my next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>